Hello everyone, Arad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading June 11th to June 17th 2018. So four cards spread for the week for Virgo and the first card that shows up the topic for Virgos this is going to be the uh, Five of Pentacles. Second card that shows up the core of the situation that is going to be the, the Eight of Cups. Third card that points up the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome. This is going to be the Ten of Cups. And last but not least is the Guidance for Virgo. That is going to be the Four of Pentacles. So uh, one thing that makes a, a big impression to me, guys, from that reading is that we do have amplification of the elements in between these cards. So that particular uh, week is going to be, just by the element said, is going to be uh, for you to pursue personal comfort and emotional fulfillment. And this is very well displayed in these couple of cards here. Now on the first look very negative, right? Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, oh my God, it's kind of like, uh, am I going to experience poverty during this week, you know? Uh, not exactly. So the, what these cards are pointing is that you are going to realize just on time how wasted a certain investments of yours are into a particular situation. These investments could be material investments, you know, like money. These investments could be personal investments like time or emotions as well, you know. And uh, in, in case just emotions, you are going to see just how careless the person you are investing emo your emotions into is and how much they don't really care how much you invest into that. And that doesn't have to be your um, your... Uh, intimate partner you know that could be a, a friend of yours as well so don't judge just by that that uh, just by don't judge just by because you uh, are having futile investments in emotions that this is the very dear person to your heart it, as I said could reflect someone that you are just met and uh, you are taking them for a very good friend of yours you know because uh, and you are very polite with them you are very um, compassionate but they don't show you the same uh, thing in return and you of course you you may start feeling very poignant about it you know and even despondent so what you need to do here is just walk away from it this is the core of the situation eight of cups so you need to know that what, wherever uh, you are having those poignant experiences in those poignant situations you can completely detach yourself from it because the eight of cups is about finding the right path for yourself or finding the right path for your emotions and if you are not feeling well into a certain situation um, you cannot hope that it's gonna fix itself on its own accord it's not going to all right you have to basically find different one because with the eight of cups even though one situation is very unsatisfiable and very poignant a new perspective emerges soon as soon as you detach yourself from it and the five of pentacles is a as the topic of the week does points that you may have uh, the, this kind of the, uh, such kind of experiences in multiple fronts all right and you may feel yourself um, left outside in the cold not being understood you know and uh, being abandoned forlorn from those who thought that they will be behind your back when you need it and uh, it, it, it simply happens guys and this is why you have to count first and form foremost on yourself before you start placing great hopes into other people and then we do have the ten of cups as a challenging card and the, and, and this is um, <clears throat> somehow related to finding what will fulfill you emotionally because you are uh, based on the four of pentacles here as a guidance card you are not seeking it into the right place especially as we're taking under consideration five of pentacles you are counting that your happiness resides into other other people affairs or kind of like resides into other people and 
here is the place where I have to say that if you don't take care for your own happiness, no one else will. And if you allow your happiness to depend on someone else, then you are not a free person, but a slave to that same one that your happiness depends on. So try to analyze where your happiness lie and, or lies and why you are not feeling happy from a certain situations. And this is, I can, I guarantee you from these cards that this is because someone else is involved in there, because you have allowed out that your happiness regarding those situations to depend on this someone else and you have to fix that because you do have the means necessary here it's just what it takes is an iron will and a, a strong determination to stand for oneself and to say no I don't want to do that anymore or any longer so that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tower reading, June 11th to June 17th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.